Vicks Vapor Rub Extra Strong with two times actives for your tough cough and cold symptoms. To start off, I am going to cook my pasta and the type of pasta that I am using, I am using shells. You're most welcome to use any type of pasta you prefer, but since this is mac and cheese, preferably use uh, macaroni or penne or shells. Um, and then to cook my pasta, obviously we're going to cook it based on packet instructions. You're going to put in your pasta, put in boiling water. And then you're going to heavily salt your uh, pasta. Just make sure you heavily salt it. Um, but then you're going to cook it for 8 to 15 minutes based on the packet instructions. And don't forget while you're cooking your pasta to constantly stir it so that it does not become um, lumpy. And as you can see that I am using Himalayan salt. Um, this is the salt that I prefer, but you can use any old uh, table salt. Uh, and remember to also put a little bit of oil just so you can prevent your pasta from sticking together. You don't want like big lumps of pasta. You want your pasta to be nicely separated and for it to cook um, well. So make sure that while it's cooking, you constantly stir it so that um, it doesn't lump together. Then just check if your pasta is cooked. I always prefer to just eat one and see that it's not chewy. Then remove it from the stove and remember to drain the water and pour cold water so it stops cooking. Now that our pasta is finished cooking and we have set it aside, we are going to start with our cheese sauce. So to do the cheese sauce um, in a hot pan, so my, hot, my pan is set on medium heat, you're going to put in two tablespoons of butter and you're going to allow this butter to melt. So just stir it around in your pot just to allow it to melt um, faster. Once your butter is completely melted, now we are going to go in with our flour. So I am going to use two and a half tablespoons of normal baking flour. So it's not self-rising or any fancy flour. This is just normal baking flour. And basically in this process, we are making our roux. Um, you're going to stir um, your flour and butter mixture together. You're going to see that it's going to like form these types of lumps. So just make sure that you stir it and your flour is no longer white. Then once that is done, we are now going to go in, our, go in with our milk um, to create like our white sauce. So you're going to pour in your milk and please make sure that you use a whisk. You can use a fork, but it's just going to take longer and it's going to be more painful to do. Um, pour in your milk. I am using three cups of milk, um, full cream milk that is. Um, and you're just going to keep stirring um, your milk in. And what you're basically trying to do is that flour and butter um, lumps your roux that you created you're just trying to break it up and mix it together with the milk so that it forms like a nice white sauce and while I'm doing this my stove is sitting on medium low heat so you still want your stove to be hot while you do this because as you're doing it as you're you're putting in the milk um, bit by bit don't put it in all at the same time just so you can control it um and then once that is done, we are going to go in with our spices because we want our cheese sauce to have flavor. So I'm just using um, a herb grind um, and I'm also going to put in some smoked paprika. And please, please, please just also f don't forget to salt um, your white sauce. Just a little bit of salt. Um, yeah, just a pinch of salt. And then mix, mix everything together. And you're more than welcome to add other herbs. I also added parsley into the mix just to elevate my white, uh, just to elevate my white sauce, which will in essence be my cheese sauce. 
Oh, um, I used a tablespoon of each of my herbs um, into my, my, my white sauce. And then just to be a little bit extra, I also put in some jalapenos just for that extra kick. I like my cheese sauce with a little bit of a kick from the jalapenos from the jalapenos but it's not a lot and then to that i am going to add cheese so i have grated mozzarella and cheddar cheese so i like the play of having the white and the yellow um cheese so you're more than welcome to use any cheese of your uh liking and when you add in the cheese into your white sauce, because now we are converting this white sauce into a cheese sauce, please make sure that your stove is switched off. And this basically helps so that your cheese does not separate. Because if your stove is, is, is on while you're doing this, then your cheese will separate and you're going to have like this oily um, thing at the top, you know, and we don't want that. So then once you've mixed it in, then you're going to take your pasta and you're going to throw it into your cheese sauce and you're going to mix this together so that your pasta and your cheese sauce are well incorporated. So you can see that the sauce is like nice and cheesy. You can see the, 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 the cheese pull um, in your sauce as you're mixing. So just make sure that you mix everything well and make sure that everything is well incorporated. Then once everything is well mixed, you're going to transfer your mac and cheese into, um, a baking dish. Um, and this is basically what we're going to use to put in the oven. Um, as the last step of making our mac and cheese. If you want to have your mac and cheese like this, you are more than welcome to. It is perfect as it is, but we are just going to, you know, zhuzh it up and take it the extra mile by baking our mac and cheese. So just transfer your mac and cheese into your casserole dish. Make sure it's oven safe and then just spread it out so that it has a nice even base on the top um and it's yeah it's just evenly spread out then once this is done and your mac and cheese is spread out evenly in your casserole dish you're just going to go in with the remaining cheese and you're going to spread that evenly on the top of the mac of the, on the top of the mac and cheese um so here just try to you know be fancy with it and make sure that um the the dark yellow and the light yellow are mixing well you don't just have spots where it's full of dark yellow and the other side is just white yellow so mix it it it, it looks prettier when it's like that then once that is done um, and you've spread it evenly you're going to put your mac and cheese into the oven at 190 degrees um, just for seven minutes so that your top comes out nice and your cheese is melted and your top has just those little charred bits so this is my mac and cheese guys do you see the cheese pull do you see that cheese pull yes i love it for myself so hope you guys enjoy this bye